Now, medical science offers you proof positive. No other leading cigarette gives you less nicotine, less throat-irritating tars than the new smoother, better-tasting Raleigh. Yes, proof positive. No other cigarette gives you less nicotine, less throat-irritating tars than the new smoother, better-tasting Raleigh. From Hollywood, the Raleigh Cigarette Program, starring Red Skelton, with David Forrester and his orchestra, our singing star, Anita Ellis, Gigi Pearson, Verna Felton, Pat McGee, and yours truly, Rod O'Connor. It's a pleasure to bring you Metro Golden Mayor's popular comedian and the star of the Raleigh Cigarette Program, Red Skelton. Thank you very much and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. This is Bob. If you don't use Pepsodent with Irium Miriam, like all your teeth. Oh, wait a minute. Somebody's giving us the wrong script. <laughs> <laughs> I think the sponsor did that. He liked folk stuff better, you know. <laughs> well, let's get on with the dull stuff, huh? Yes, another broadcast has rolled around. Now, how do you feel tonight, Rod? Oh, I feel just like chickory chick. Well, let's turn out the lights, lay our eggs, and get out of here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm proud of that. <laughs> Well, say, Red, what was all the excitement with you up there on Hollywood Boulevard? Oh, nothing much. I was carrying a few bundles under my arms, and suddenly my belt broke. Well, what happened? Well, I did a juggling act for about ten minutes, and when I finished, I was carrying my pants and wearing three large avocados. <laughs> I was out buying some clothes for my brother. We thought he was getting out this week, you know. Oh, didn't your brother get home this week? No. For a while, it looked like he'd make it, but then the Marines and the Warden moved in with bazookas. <laughs> I think the boys up at Alcatraz were striking for shorter hours. <laughs> well, hello, Red. Oh, hi, Anita. Hello, hello, Anita. Red, I want to thank you for the wonderful evening at the amusement pier. Oh. And, uh, I like your girl. Oh, yeah, but that place is no place for her. She's too heavy, you know. Every time she stood on the beach, the tide came in. <laughs> Well, how were things down at the beach? Oh, same old way. There's no, one thing I can't figure out, though. What's that? The new bathing suits the girls are wearing. Yeah? I don't know if there's less to them or if they're just putting more into them. <laughs> well, did you take in any of the amusements? Uh, no, I, they ran too fast for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, did you try any of the games on the Midway? Oh, yeah, I was pretty lucky, too. I won a ten-cent ashtray for $30. <laughs> <laughs> You should have gone with Anita and I on the roller coaster. Huh? Oh, we did have fun. Mm -hmm. Only I'd be more at ease if I hadn't tried to put your arms around me. Yeah, uh, if I hadn't tried to put my arms around me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, if you hadn't put, tried to put your arms around me. <laughs> well, read it. It's in English. It's right there. <laughs> Go right ahead. You want to try it again? Well, if you'd like. Yeah, we got time. I'd be more at ease if you hadn't tried to put your arms around me. Well, I didn't mean anything by that. All the fellas put their arms around the girls when they go on the roller coaster. Not if the girl is three seats ahead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're proud of that. <laughs> yeah. Now, medical science offers you proof positive. No other leading cigarette gives you less nicotine, less throat-irritating tars than the new smoother, better-tasting Raleigh. Yes, proof positive. No other cigarette gives you less nicotine, less throat-irritating tars than the new smoother, better-tasting Raleigh. Yes, scientific tests of America's six biggest-selling brands based on a method used by the United States government. Tests certified by a jury of 14 distinguished doctors, including throat specialists, have proved conclusively no other cigarette gives you less nicotine, less throat irritating tars, so no other is safer to smoke. Yes, Raleigh's are right. Right for taste, 
right for throat. Enjoy Raleigh's rich tobaccos, that smoother, more satisfying Raleigh flavor. Remember, medical science offers you proof positive. No other cigarette gives you less nicotine, less throat irritating tars. So, no other is safer to smoke than the new, smoother, better tasting Raleigh. And now, from the new Broadway hit, St. Louis Woman, Anita Ellis will sing Come Rain, Come Shine. Skelton Scrapbook of Satire, a story entitled Fireman. Our characters are fictional. If there's any similarity to persons you know, don't be alarmed. They have possibilities of developing into a total stranger. <laughs> Chapter 126 is entitled Child Save That Fireman. The life of a fireman is exciting when first he's a rookie, then he's assigned to a suburban station, then he's moved downtown. And this is the story of Willie Lump Lump, the fireman who made good the hard way. Left, right, left, right, company, halt, one, two. Boy, this life of a rookie fireman is really tough, dude. <laughs> Mike, 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 nothing, Mike, Mike, Mike. Someday I'm going to walk just to see what will happen. <laughs> I guess they figure the best way to put out a fire is to tramp on it. Lump, lump, I said company halt. I ain't company. I live here. <laughs> You're terrible, Lump, lump. Yeah. You can't even keep in step with yourself. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Where'd you learn to march like that? I was a lieutenant in the army. <laughs> What am I doing this wrong, huh? You're on your hands and knees. Well, I was with the canine division. <laughs> what were you doing in the canine corps? I like Red Heart better than k Racking. <laughs> well, snap into it. If you're going to be a fireman, at least try to look like one. Uh... Now, put your helmet on. I ain't gonna wear it. It's too big for me. It's the smallest size we've got. What size head have you? Well, you've heard of seven and an eighth and six, seven and an eighth? Yes. Shake hands with an eighth. (laughs) 
How'd your head get so small? Stick it in a Coca-Cola bottle. It's trying to get the last drop out. <laughs> now, don't be silly. Here, I'll put your helmet on for you. Well, here I am, all alone, little world of myself. <laughs> now, does that helmet feel too big? Oh, no, it's quite comfortable, you know, where my legs branch out. <laughs> All right, Lump Lump. Let's see how much you know about firefighting. All right. What's the first thing you do when you see a house on fire? I do the same as any red blooded American would do. Stand there with my mouth open and say, Boy, what a blaze. <laughs> no, no. Yes, I would, too. Well, what about women and children first? That's kind of risky, isn't it? <laughs> Willie, how can you be so dumb and stay alive? I take vitamins. I <laughs> now, look, let's go back and start all over. All right. What's the first thing you'd do if your house was on fire? Oh, well, that's different. I'd jump out the window. <laughs> and what's the second thing you'd do? Regret it. <laughs> My room's on the 10th floor. Come in. Attention. I'm proud to say that you've all passed your fireman test. Oh. You'll now receive your uniform and be assigned to a suburban oh, station. I... <laughs> Me too. Yes, you can be a mascot. Uh... <laughs> sure is boring sitting around a firehouse giving each other hot foots for excitement. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't you read the book? I just finished the book. I don't think another book can ever top it. What was the name of it? Oh, uh, Forever Mother Goose. I... <laughs> Why, that's a kid's book. It is? Yeah, it's for three-year-old mine. Well, I don't wonder it was over my head. Then. <laughs> How about another game of checkers? Well, I will not. You're playing with Mark Checkers, you are. <laughs> All right. Then how about a little gin? Yes. Rummy. Oh. <laughs> Grab that nozzle head. Yeah, okay. Take it. Hello, Hotty Tot Firehouse. We'll go to Blazes for you. <laughs> What's that? Your house is on fire? Sure. Well, thank you. That's mighty neighborly of you. Goodbye now, Ladybug. Well, Willie, if the house is on fire, what are we waiting for? Well, don't get excited. He said he'd bring it right over. He lives in the trailer. I'll be a gypsy, I guess. I don't know. A gypsy, I guess. Right? We don't ever get to go to any real fires anymore, do we? Well, we've had some mighty big fires in this district. Yeah. Remember the night the burlesque show caught on fire? Yeah, I rescued that fan dancer 49 times. <laughs> Uh, do you remember during the war we couldn't get fire extinguishers yeah. and had to use seltzer bottles? Yeah, that big fire over at the liquor store and we all stood around squirting seltzer water. What happened? Biggest highball you ever saw. <laughs> I'll get it, I'll get it. Hello, Hotty Totsy Firehouse, Lump Lump speaking. Come quickly, my place is on fire. It's burning to the ground. The smoke is choking me. Help, help, I'm stifling. Can't you do something for me? Oh, I might get you a pie at MGM. <laughs> this is no time to joke. My house is on fire. So I get her. Come right over. I live at 603-874-921-89 Santa Fe Way. Uh, sounds like a boxcar, doesn't it? <laughs> Where is it? It's on the other side of Los Angeles. Oh. How long will it take you? About three hours. <laughs> three hours to cross Los Angeles? Yes, you see, we'll have to find a woman driver to take us through. <laughs> oh, you nitwit. Now, just a minute. That's a needle. <laughs> now, you say to me, what's a needle? <laughs> <laughs> That's a needle. What's a needle? What you knit with. Well, you'd better come right away, or my girl's school will burn to the ground. 
school. Well, let it burn as far as I'm concerned. Girl school? Yes, girl school. I thought you said girl school, otherwise my nostrils wouldn't be snorting. <laughs> hey, fella, there's a girl school on fire. Let's go. Huh? Girl school! Let's go! Let's go! Somebody stepped on my fire bag. Well, don't be silly. It's on your chest. That's what I said. Somebody stepped on my fire bag. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Hey, shall we stop over at the Boy Scout headquarters? That kid never did bring that axe back. <laughs> Come on, I'll drive. I know a shortcut across Los Angeles. <laughs> hey, boy, this is fun, huh? Stop smiling, Willie. People are looking at you. You're supposed to be serious. Oh. Be careful. That car in front of me ain't going to pull over. I'll teach them not to give a fire truck the right away. <laughs> Hardly worth the effort. Was it? Now, medical science offers you proof positive. No other leading cigarette gives you less nicotine, less throat-irritating tars, than the new smoother, better-tasting Raleigh. Yes, proof positive. No other cigarette gives you less nicotine, less throat-irritating tars, than the new smoother, better-tasting Raleigh. Byron Nelson, America's number one golfer, says, quote, It's true. I've studied the certified tests with my own eyes. Medical science has proved no other cigarette gives you less nicotine, less throat-irritating tars. Thus, no other is actually safer to smoke. So Raleigh's must be right. You're right, Byron Nelson. And those tests were based on a method used by the United States government. So enjoy Raleigh's rich tobaccos, that more satisfying Raleigh flavor. And remember... Medical science offers you proof positive. No other cigarette gives you less nicotine, less throat-irritating tars. So, no other is safer to smoke than the new, smoother, better-tasting Raleigh. Fire Chief John Alderson just phoned and said if we come down with Junior, he'll let us slide down the poles. He enjoys the show very much. (laughs) And now David Forrester and his orchestra play a medal for a medley from the Broadway success Carousel. <laughs>
Richard. Chapter 128 is entitled, Where There's Smoke, There's Junior. All children should learn that it's dangerous to play with matches. This is a very easy point to get across unless your child happens to be junior, the mean widow king. <laughs> Glow, widow matches, glow, 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 widow matches, glow, glow. No, it bit me, it bit me, that one bit me. Junior! Yes? What are you doing? I'm singing, Grandma. Is that all? Well, if I tell her the truth, I'll suffer the consequences. <laughs> oh, um, keep me widow trap shut, I guess. Junior, answer me. Or do I have to stop ironing and come see for myself? Well, I am just in... Land's sake, just look at this mess. What are you doing? I'm playing fireman, Grandma. Now, isn't that nice? Yes, I, I used the banister at me pole. I slide down it. Watch me, watch me. I'm going to slide down the pole. Here I come. <laughs> I sure is knock me, ain't I? Huh? <laughs> Junior, do I smell smoke? Well, if you don't, you has a coal, you know. Junior, did hmm? you start that fire in the fireplace? Yes, but I put it right out again. Where did you get the water? From the goldfish bowl. What about the goldfish? They didn't like it. In fact, they got burned up about it. <laughs> How many times have I told you about that? Why do you play with matches? Because I don't have a blowtorch, that's why. <laughs> Junior, you come over here this minute. Hey, is you brushing your hair, Grandma, or are you waving that thing at me? <laughs> You must be taught a lesson, so bend over, young man. Well, how do you expect me to learn anything when you teach me on the wrong end? <laughs> oh, 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 you hit me with a hairbrush. You hit now me, you hit me. That. You're just crying because your feelings are hurt. I want you to hurt my feelings. I don't have to set on them, you know. <laughs> I didn't mean to be yes, so hard. Oh, you were. Poor baby. Yeah, poor baby. Bless you, little heart. Yeah, bless you, little heart. <laughs> Now, I want you to promise me you'll stay away from that. Yes, it would be the easiest thing in the world to set the house on fire. Oh, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> I've been having quite a bit of trouble, Michelle. Junior, mm -hmm. I wish you could understand that playing with matches is a dangerous thing. Oh? Where well, you might catch your clothes on fire. Oh. And that suit's brand new. Yeah. <laughs> well, I ain't very old myself, you know. <laughs> No, you're not. No. I remember the night you were born. Oh. How your father rushed out of the house and joined the Foreign Legion. <laughs> hey, Grandma, where did I come from? All little babies come from heaven. Really? Yes. But I guess you were an exception. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have to get back to my ironing. Hey, I smell something burning. Good heavens, I left the iron off. Oh, let's go see what happened. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, oh look, Junior, the kitchen's blazing. A real fire. You know, kiddo, I didn't know you had it in here, you know. <laughs> look, the kitchen curtains is on fire. Well, look. Junior, you're a cub scout. What do you do first? Let's get some marshmallows. <laughs> oh, boy. Help, help. Oh. Junior, save yes. what you can. Okay, Grandma. <laughs> Junior, mm. what are you doing? I'm throwing the dishes out the window. Junior, stop. Stop it and call the fire department. Now, let's wait a minute. Give the fire a chance to get going, or wait Let's be fair about this. Oh, Junior, my beautiful house. Yeah, make a beautiful fire, too, don't you? Yeah? The fire's getting out of control. Yeah. Junior, stop blowing on it. Well, I don't have nothing to fire with. <laughs> what can I do? I'll phone the fire department. Yes, Junior. Oh, there's Mr. Fowler, Fowler at the door. I got him in. Junior, yes? does your grandmother know the back of the house is on fire? Does she know? No, she's just phoning the fire department because she don't want to lick a posy sample. She wants to bring the water over in a hose. Uh, let's go down the back and train the garden hose on yes, the fire. Let's hurry, hurry. Oh, boy, a fire. I turn it on and you be the head squirt. Uh, all right, turn it on. Here, yeah, it's on. Uh, nothing's coming out. Is it turned on all the way? Yeah, maybe it's clogged up. Well, I'll look inside the nozzle. That's all I want to know. <laughs> Do you have to trip? It's a fine time to be taking a shower, you know. I've often wondered why your grandmother never thought of putting Drano in your crib. Oh. <laughs> Someone ought to tan your height. Well, let's let the sun do that, eh, kiddo? Uh, oh. Oh, here comes your fire wagon. Oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm going to tell Grandma. I'm going to tell Hey, 
Hey, look, four fire engines, Grandma. You can't. A big hooking ladder. Oh, I do believe I have died and gone to my appointed destination. <laughs> All right, Ben, hurry it up. It's in the back. Out of the way, kid. We'll take care of it. Junior, out of the fire chief's way. Yes. Yeah. Yes, out of the house, everybody. Come on, everybody out. You can't put us out like this. You gotta give us 30 day notice. <laughs> Look, kid, the house is on fire. It's dangerous to stay inside. I wanna stay in where it's dangerous. I wanna be in the fire, the smoke and the fumes. Now everything's falling down, the rafters blazing, the ceiling caving in, the walls tumbling over. Where's the door? Where's the door? What's the matter, Junior? You scared me, sir. <laughs> How's the fireman doing? It's okay, madam. The fire's out. Not too much damage done. Chief, I want to thank you. Well, you're welcome. Now, let me take a look and see what caused it. Junior, that should teach you a lesson. I did. That just goes to show you're playing with matches. Children should learn to be cautious and listen to their parents. Yeah. Lady, that fire was started because you didn't turn your iron off when you left it. The ironing board caught on fire and spread to the curtains. Oh. Uh, what were you saying, Grandma? <laughs> Sometimes I think you grown-ups are more careless than children. Yes. <clears throat> you think I ought to go get the hairbrush, huh? <laughs> I suggest, madam, when you lecture about safety precautions to your youngsters, that you practice what you preach. Yes. Okay, men, let's go. Yes. <laughs> you know, Grandma, I kind of shame of you. Really shame, you know. <laughs> A big girl like you, you know. I ought to make you go to bed without you suffer, you know. Yes, Junior, yes. I know. Yes? I know I was careless. Yes. I'm like all grown-ups, just thoughtlessly careless. Oh, well, don't cry <laughs> about it, Grandma. I can't help it. Yes, yes, yes. I picked on a child for what I don't practice. Well, you know why, goodness. I'm so innocent. Yes, 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 yes. It's all right, it's all right. <laughs> Oh, bless her careless widow heart. <laughs> yes, bless my careless little heart. No, don't cry. Remember, we'll all be back to the next Tuesday at the same time. Red Skelton, David Forrester, and his orchestra, Anita Ellis, Brenna Felton, Gigi Pearson, Pat McGeehan, and yours truly, Rod O'Connor. Until next Tuesday, then. This is Red Skelton saying goodbye now, and thanks for listening. And I'd like to remind you that Sunday's Mother's Day... But so many people have forgotten Mother all through the year. If they forget this one day, she probably won't even notice it. Brown and Williamson invite you to other good listening throughout the week. Hear Hildegard tomorrow night in the new Penguin Room, and people are funny without Link Letter Friday night. And return with Red Skelton next Tuesday. Red Skelton is heard in this program through the courtesy of Metro Golden Mayor. Sir Walter Raleigh, the pipe tobacco that rates superior on all five counts. Check them. A rich, ripe, full-bodied, burly blend. Sir Walter Raleigh. Mellowed with rum for extra smoothness. Deep down, satisfying goodness. That's Sir Walter Raleigh. Clean smoking all the way down. No soggy heel. Leaves only a clean, dry ash. And that's Sir Walter Raleigh. Crimp cut for slow, even, cool burning. Yes, Sir Walter Raleigh. The brand of grand aroma. Keeps home sweet home. It's... Sir Walter Raleigh, sooner or later, your favorite tobacco. Yes, a favorite in the Army, Navy, Marines, and Coast Guard, with men everywhere who appreciate quality pipe smoking. Try Sir Walter Raleigh, the quality pipe tobacco of America. Red Skelton is brought to you by the Brown and Williamson Tobacco Corporation. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.